Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday the 13th of December. It is cold, it is damp, it is chilly. It is all the December weather you'd expect here in southeastern Pennsylvania. But we're looking forward to a great day. Uh, I have got my Irish second. This pipe means a lot to me. This is actually, I believe this is the first non-drugstore pipe that I ever bought. I bought this at a tinderbox way, way, way back. And uh, yeah, it's it's I, I put a lot of a lot of Kia through this pipe. Uh, this was one of my back in my number ten Downing Street phase. And what I'm going to be smoking? Let, let me just get this lit up because I'm dead curious about this. Not that you'll be able to read that. Crown Achievement from May of, of 2014. So it's got six plus years of age on it. Um, the reason I'm smoking this, uh, because you know I'm not a big English guy, but I'm going to visit my buddy Jack Kurtz. And he is a, well, I won't say he's a big English guy, but he smokes English blends uh, more than I do. So I was going through my cellar thinking, what could I... What could I share with Jack? And I'm going to give him this jar of Crown Achievement, but I want to keep the jar because I want to put a haunted bookshop in it. So <laughs> I had to open it and I figured, what the heck, let me let me try a pipe and pipe full and see how it's aged. Now the problem is I bought this Crown Achievement when it first came, when it was first reintroduced by Lane. And It was a special deal where you got a free pipe if you bought a pound. So I did that and I was excited because I was still in my, let's see if I can find a replacement for Haunted Bookshop stage. Not, not Haunted Bookshop, uh, for number 10 Downing Street. And that's why I bought the Crown Achievement and it, it failed. It was not the replacement. So I jarred it up with the hopes that maybe it would um, sort of mellow out. It has mellowed, but I can't say it's to my liking. It's still got some sharpness to it that I don't like. But it's not terrible. So, so if I remember right, Crown Achievement is a um, more of a Scottish blend. It's got uh, it's got some Perique in it, and uh, you know, it's in Virginia, a lot of Kia. There might be some Orientals in there too. I probably should have researched it before starting this video. Ah, it's nice though. It's. Um, Again, not not something I'm gonna gonna want to smoke all day long, but uh, it has aged well. And as I'm smoking it, I'm I'm remembering like there's that core of uh, of what it was. Yeah. Hmm, that's that's actually quite pleasant. So maybe that's the secret, guys. I, I have to only smoke uh, six-year-old English blends, and I'll enjoy them. No, I, I still wouldn't want to smoke this all day. But it's good. It's definitely good. So, yes, I'm going to visit my friend Jack. Um, looking forward to seeing him again. Got some tobaccos to share with them, and uh, we'll we'll sit around and smoke pipes and and uh, tell stories and then have a big old time. So uh, I'm actually doing that today, and I'll be leaving his place in time to get back here before it's dark because I don't like to drive it in the dark. We got the uh, bulk of the Christmas lights up on Saturday. So that's good. There's still some things we need to put up, but we apparently have a 
big uh, nor'easter moving in on Tuesday, and my wife's afraid that things are going to blow around, so she wanted to wait. That's fine. We'll finish up everything mid next week then. And as I mentioned before, I'm technically on vacation. Monday, I think I've got uh, work meetings from like 11 to 1, and then I have to go to a doctor's appointment at 3. So Monday's not going to be much of a first day of vacation, but I guess it's better than having to work from, uh, from 9 to 5. I normally work from 8 to 7, but, you know, still better. Hmm. I'm, I'm definitely finding this to be a different smoking experience than it was uh, six years ago. To, to the best of my ability to remember six years ago. It's interesting that Latakia can be very sharp, but it can also have that sort of rounded, almost buttery edge to it. And that, that I'm picking more of that up in this now, less of the, but the sharpness is still there. Of course, the Perique might be contributing to that as well. There's a sourness. I'm not really getting Perique on the retro health. So. I don't know. Anyway, other than visiting Jack and then being on vacation, I don't think there's a lot new to really tell you guys about. Um, still working on those pipes of my own. Uh, my first customer pipe came in on Friday and I'm going to be looking that over uh, probably Sunday night uh, into Monday and uh, get to work on it. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do a video. It's uh, it's not a simple simple job so we'll see. We'll see. Alright folks, I've babbled enough here. Uh, I just really wanted to share with you this uh, this old crown achievement and let you know my thoughts. I'm sure I'll be smoking a fair amount of this tomorrow as well, so if my thoughts change, I'll let you know. So friends, uh, the coming week is going to be uh, you know, a bit unpredictable for me, so I'm not going to guarantee that I'll make a Wednesday uh, ramble video. I'll try, but I, I'm not going to guarantee it. And if that doesn't happen, we got uh, the Friday night uh, live stream with Couch from the Dunning Kruger Show. I think that's going to be a great deal of fun. So I hope you'll join us. And if I don't see you Wednesday, I'll hopefully see you on Friday. So with that, friends, you all take care. And I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.